I decided to get creative and instead of making a presentation like a PowerPoint, I decided to make a critical image. Well, a critical drawing and well, I'll, I'll explain. Um, well, first of all, uh, globalization. Like here we can see some leaders of the world which are a key to the world we're living. Here is uh, like uh, like a critical image of the United States. This is the president of China and the president of North Korea. And right now they are making like most of the news right now. And well, globalization is augmenting the interaction of people through the increase of the global flow of money, ideas, and culture, primarily in an economic process of integration. Uh, trade right now uh, plays a key role, like here I, I draw the WTO, the World Trade Organization, and trade plays a key role in globalization due to the fact that trade in itself creates an interdependence between countries, which creates this phenomena called globalization. Here you can see the president of China grabbing the wallet of the United States, which shows us that China nowadays is becoming more powerful. This is due to this interdependence. Uh, many companies in the United States are dependent to the, the fabrication in China, which uh, leads to the dependence of the United States on China and here we can see that these guys wearing Adidas, Nikes and Nikes again this shows globalization too and technological advances mm, the digital revolution started in the 1950s and 1930s uh, with the proliferation of personal computers um, I'll explain this in detail later um, terrorism, here I have a picture, I'll also explain in detail in the fur further points that shows us terrorism and here you can see in the whole map it says Alawakbar, Alawakbar which some people, it stands for for we praise to God or something like that people think it's something of the devil, it's so funny but uh, Terrorists work through violence and and terror and to come to a religious goal. Um, uh, first of all, uh, the positive aspects of globalization. Um, one positive aspect is the interdependence and alliances between countries, which makes it harder to make war because you cannot declare war on a country you need and also it creates trading blocks just like the European Union which helps create better better situations for the people living there better education, better life also globalization pushes us forward technologically, medically, uh, philosophically because a lot more people can make a lot more advance and governments can work together nowadays because it's very easy for them to communicate and culture there is a positive aspect and there's a negative aspect I'll talk about the negative in the negatives and uh, the neg the positive aspect is that countries can you can taste the culture from another country without going there very easily like Chinese restaurants or Italian restaurants and not only you can see in the internet everything is there also the negatives of globalization are that the rich become richer which we can see nowadays that country rich become richer and the poor become poorer because uh, rich countries can buy from poor countries at the prices they want, which is unfair and leads to poverty, hunger, and death. 
here I wrote some things like hunger, thirst, violence, racism. As uh, this has a motive: racism, South Africa, violence, Ghana, uh, thirst in the Sahara, and hunger in the north of Africa. Also here I wrote corruption. Uh, here in Venezuela I wrote hace mucha hambre. Uh, Puerto Rico tengo sed. Uh, this, all of this stands for the problems that happen nowadays in our world due to globalization. Um, and also, there's a greater chance of pandemics happen, happening because, of the, be, because people can travel from one country to another very easily. And some diseases can spread, like there was a huge spread of Ebola uh, like one year ago. And it got us all worried. And now... Here I did a drawing of the W, the World Trade Organization. This is the main, the main building, which is situated in Geneva. Obviously, it's not here, but I didn't want to put it on top. So, the World Trade Organizations organization is a place where people argue about trade rules and like are. Um, everybody helps decide, like, in answer to the question, uh, how are the rules established? All the 164 countries get together and create the rules, so everybody's happy. Well, most of the times. There are 164 It was established on 1st January 1995, and we can see it, it answering to what is it. It's an organization for opening trade. That's it. Like, and next, what are the advantages and disadvantages of the digital revolution? Advantages: improved communication, easy access to information, improved entertainment, social networking, and convenience in education. And disadvantages: job loss, world destruction weapons, increased loneliness. This is the main factor today because a lot of people stay at home. And that's it. The advantages outnumber the disadvantages. And well, um, how do you think? How do I think technology benefits or affects terrorism? I think that it improves terrorism because now people can have better communication. Here I wrote, I uh, did like a comic. You can see it there and this guy is just saying just do it he is okay the explosion uh, he's happy because it exploded and it worked fine and then he says lame I kinda like that guy and well that wraps up my presentation thank you bonus footage of me drawing